Imagine a mobile system that could show up, dispose of waste, but while at the same time extracting hydrogen and energy, powering the cars, turning on the lights, and giving energy to the community around. Hi, my name is Bryce Davis. Uh, I'm a senior scientist at Oceanit, and I've been at Oceanit for four years. Hydrogen is everywhere, the most abundant atom in the world. Hydrogen is one of the cleanest energies out there. It doesn't produce greenhouse gases, but it's difficult to extract because it's typically not found pure. It's typically found in H2O, uh, water, um, ammonia, NH3. So to extract the hydrogen requires you to break these bonds and to pull the hydrogen out. Hydrogen recovery using artificial intelligence, arc plasma, operational learning system, which stands for HALO, and from here on out, we're gonna stick with HALO. The HALO technology is a mobile system that can easily be moved anywhere to turn waste into hydrogen and value-added chemicals. So currently we're using a produced water for our waste stream, and that's what's driving the, uh, the research and development of the project. So they use a lot of water to stimulate these oil wells to bring up the, the oil and natural gas. And because of that, it creates a tremendous amount of toxic wastewater that can be dangerous to the environment and the community around it. We've demonstrated that we can produce hydrogen use of this produced water waste stream. I think the biggest uh, benefit of this is, is getting rid of this, uh, this toxic wastewater. Millions, if not billions of barrels are currently uh, just sitting there in waste treatment facilities. We could dispose of it and we can extract the valuable uh, products like hydrogen um, and other minerals. You know, that's the really the, the idea of uh, the benefit of HALO. But secondly, we could look at different waste streams and this could create a system that could be used um, all around the world to get rid of uh, waste trash that is everywhere around us, as well as extract energy out of that waste. Um, the infrastructure isn't in place for um, us to use hydrogen. We haven't adopted it because we have something that works, so why change it? Why we change it is because of climate change and global warming and we need to find alternative sources so that we can potentially operate and do everything that we normally do, but without damaging the planet.